Our top story at six, body camera footage of the standoff in Minnetonka that injured two deputies. A gunman was at the scene and was killed. The Hennepin County Sheriff's Office releasing the video just hours ago. Our Tim Bloss has been sorting through it. There's a lot there. He joins us now from the Live Center with more. Tim, this footage now has to be documented, so the details of this are immense. Yeah, they really are. We're getting the perspective now of the body cameras worn by four Hennepin County Sheriff's deputies. They were all part of a team executing an arrest warrant on April 10th at a home near Crestwood Drive East and Mayview Road. Now, the video from one of the deputies shows them knocking on the door, announcing their presence. Two and a half minutes later, the man inside goes to the back of the house with an assault-style rifle and fired two shots. The deputies then took defense positions and about seven minutes later the gunman wearing body armor comes back out again Is it the back? Is it the back? Well, as you can see there, a lot of rounds fired. The suspect was eventually taken down in the backyard between the house and the shed. The body camera video does not show the suspect getting shot. Two deputies were injured, one treated there at the scene. The other, Deputy Christopher Hines, was shot multiple times, taken to HCMC and released the next day. The gunman was 28-year-old Clint Hoythia. He was not the man that deputies were looking for on the arrest warrant. New details from the warrant revealed that the address of that suspect, 34-year-old Joshua Ramos, was actually a couple of blocks away. Now, the BCA is investigating this case. Agents recovered the rifle and dozens of cartridge casings at the scene. The initial report says that Hoytia was wearing a tactical vest and ballistic plates. Kelsey? All right, thank you, Tim.